everybody, I wanted to do a quick video tonight on a question that came up at an accelerator course that Sam Mackay and I did last week. And what we had was we had a, a visual that was kind of like this, um, that was looking at total sales. And one of the questions that somebody in the course had was, could we take the selections from a slicer and incorporate that into the title? And the answer is, yeah, we definitely can do that. We can do a lot more than that. And let me show you what we can do, which is we can not only incorporate the country selection here, we can incorporate some logic. So we can say total sales are up, the, the percent that they're up, and then we can color the title based on that result. And so here we can say, you know, we've got an up, we've got another up, here we've got a down, and the, the narrative changes and the color changes, and it really tells kind of a nice clean story all in one, one glance. And so the way we do this is, through two two different measures and if you look in the bar chart formatting um, what you'll see is in the title if you go so anytime you see an FX that is something you can change in conditional formatting and so we've got the the text itself we've got the text color we've got the background color we can change all that based on DAX logic and so what we've done here is set up two separate measures. Um, the first of which is the dynamic title measure. And in that title, we're going to be harvesting the, the country selection. We're going to be determining whether um, the percent change in the last two months is up, down, or unchanged. And then we're going to be determining the magnitude of that change. And so what we've got is we've got a month over month sales measure. And if that's greater than zero, then we, we return up. If it's less than zero, we return down. Um, we've got the actual amount in that month over month sales measure. And then we've got um, the color. And we're gonna take a look at that in a second measure. And then what we do is we just, we create a result that takes the, the outcomes of these variables and then just concatenates them. So we start with text and then we add a concatenation to the harvest country measure, which is just a selected value, and then more concatenation to a to another text link, and then another concatenation to this direction variable, um, concatenation to a space, concatenation to the month over month, and then concatenation to the remaining text. And so one of the things you want to look at in doing this is you'll see here that we've got the, the logic built on the, the measure itself. We have our switch, which is based on the actual month over month. And then we have a formatted month over month. And you'll need the formatted month over month to go in here because that's going to be formatted properly for the title. If you try to use this, though, for the logic, this is a text field and it's not going to work for the logic. So you need you need both the formatted text version and the actual numeric version to create the logic. And then what we do is we just have a second measure which builds off of this one, which is if the month over month is greater than zero, it gets green. If it's less than zero, meaning a decrease, it gets dark red. And if it's unchanged, it gets blue. And then what we do is we just plug these in in the in the field value so you know we say for example background color and then field value and then it's just based on that cf title color measure and same thing for the dynamic title measure and so from that what we've got is this fully dynamic selection based on these two measures whereas you click through you just get the color change and the title change so that's really, that's how dynamic titles work. And you can apply that logic to any sort of logical change or color change or format change um, in, your, in your, um, your report. So I hope you found that helpful and um, we'll see you in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. 
Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.